carcinoid means carcinoma-like, and carcinoid tumours are a subset of neuroendocrine tumours, or NETs, and most carcinoid tumours are now termed as neuroendocrine tumours, or NETs. These tumours have neurosecretory granules in the cytoplasm, and they arise in cells of the diffuse endocrine system, or DES. They are also known as amine precursor uptake and decarboxylation, or APOD cells, and these cells produce peptide hormones. The most frequent location of carcinoid or neuroendocrine tumours is the gastrointestinal tract, particularly the ileum. Another important site where carcinoid tumours are seen is the lung, and here they are categorised as typical or atypical carcinoids. Other sites include stomach, bile ducts, gallbladder, thymus, kidney, ovary and testis. These tumours are usually slow-growing and less than 10% produce symptoms and the diagnosis of these tumours is usually in the age group of 55 to 65 years. NETs or carcinoids may metastasize, and tumours that arise from the small bowel appendix and cecum may cause the carcinoid syndrome. Carcinoid syndrome is caused when there are high levels of gastrointestinal neuroendocrine system hormones, such as serotonin, in the circulation. And this is especially when there are liver metastases. Symptoms include flushing, diarrhoea, nausea and vomiting, asthma, and it can cause heart problems including tricuspid and pulmonary valve stenosis and incompetence due to thickening of the valves that may present with breathlessness, edema and ascites. Grossly neuroendocrine tumour or carcinoids have a solid yellow or tan appearance on cut surface. Histologically, the tumour cells are composed of islands, sheets, streaks and glands. The nuclei are round with a speckled chromatin pattern and the cytoplasm is rather scanty and pink staining. Useful immunostains include chromogranin, synaptophysin and CD56. This is an appendix that has been sliced longitudinally and at the tip there is a white mass and this is a carcinoid or neuroendocrine tumour and it is because they are so frequently located here that when one examines the appendix it is mandatory to take a longitudinal section of the tip to exclude the presence of a carcinoid. This is a segment of ileum and there is a yellow tumour and this is another example of neuroendocrine tumour or carcinoid. This is the histological appearance of a neuroendocrine tumour or carcinoid in the ileum and the tumour is located in the submucosa. And on higher power, the nested appearance of the neuroendocrine tumour or carcinoid can be appreciated. And here is the chromogranin stain of this particular tumour. Uh, it is clearly positive, confirming that the tumour is a neuroendocrine or carcinoid tumour.